Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm not going to prolong uh, the service any longer. Amen. Uh, we can let us go ahead and stand. <coughs> we'll get right into the word on tonight. Amen. Uh, our scripture will come from Proverbs chapter 3. And I'll read verses 1 through 6 in your hearing. Proverbs chapter 3. And I'll read 1 through 6. Amen. 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 It reads, My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments. For length of days, and long life, and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck, and write them upon the table of thy heart. So shalt Thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy paths. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord God, for this moment, this opportunity that you've given us to gather, O oh Lord God, to hear from you, O oh Lord. Lord God, as I stand here, O oh Lord, I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will minister to us on tonight, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, Father, that you will express your mind, express your thoughts, express your heart, O oh Lord God, through me to us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I do thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 For a small space of time. Let's get this on here. For a small space of time, what I would like to do it's ministered from a topic, trust in the Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. Trust in the Lord. Because the time is going to come when you are going to have to trust somebody. Amen? Amen. And when we think about putting our trust in someone, uh, it's very important that we know, that we understand that if we put our trust in the wrong person, uh -huh. that can do great damage. Right, right. And as I said, the time will come when you are going to have to trust somebody. Come on. Uh, and it is important that we trust the Lord because when the test comes, as my sister said, when the wind comes to beat upon the house when the storms come raging and you're going to have to have your trust in God intact. Come on. Uh, this just doesn't happen on accident as far as trusting in the Lord. Yeah. But this is something that happens over time. Amen? Amen. Amen. Here in our text, we see Solomon is doing what any loving and caring parent would do and that is, he has given his son some sound advice. Yeah. And based on his own life experience, mm -hmm. Solomon feels like he's given this boy the keys to success. Mm -hmm. He starts out by saying, forget not the things that I have taught you. Uh, one thing that Solomon understood, and this is the same thing that we who are parents must understand is that the only thing that you can do is to pour into your child. That's all you can do. All you can do is talk to them. All you can do is teach them. Uh, as the word went forth on this morning, you can train them up. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that you cannot do is you cannot take everything that you have given them and apply it for them. Right. You right. cannot live life for them. 
right. life is something, their life is something that they have to live all on their own. They have to make the choice to take what you've given them mm -hmm. and to apply it right. unto themselves. Amen? Amen. Amen. It is uh, completely and absolutely up to them to remember the things that they were taught and to apply them. Yeah. In verse 2, Solomon tells his son, for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to you. He is saying that if you apply what I'm telling you, uh, uh, you will live God will in many years and your life will be a peaceable and a satisfying life yeah. if you apply the things that I'm telling you that you ought to do. Mm -hmm. If you listen to me, isn't this the voice of a parent? Mm -hmm. That if you listen to me, you will be able to avoid prison. And yeah. God willing, if the Lord see fit, you'll be able to avoid an early grave. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, some mothers will sit down with their daughters and have these real a uh, 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 mother to daughter talks that if you listen to me young girl you will avoid some STDs and you will avoid being a mother before uh, marriage if right. you listen to me listen to me uh -huh. yeah. if you listen to me you will be able to keep the grass cut real low so that you can identify all of the snakes that's going to come along in your life come if on, you preacher. listen to me. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't that I don't like all your friends, but I just know that all your friends ain't all your friends. Amen? Oh, amen. If you listen to me. Right. If you listen to me and save up your money while you still live in that home, before yeah. you move out, you'll have so much money saved up that you'll be able to live so comfortably once yeah. you move that it'll feel like you still living rent free if you listen to me. Yeah, come on, man. If you let somebody say, if you listen to me, listen somebody got to listen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But out of all of the things that Solomon advised his son mm -hmm. to do, the greatest of all of them was that he said, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding. Sometimes we want to lean into our own understanding. But all of the things that he told this boy, the, the, the one thing that he told him that was so valuable was, son, trust in the Lord with yeah. all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Notice how he tells uh, his son just not to trust God. He just didn't say trust God. Right. He just didn't say, son, I need you to trust in the Lord. No, 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 no. But he said to do it with all thy heart. Mm. And what this is saying is that in any and all circumstances that God is absolutely, completely reliable. Yeah, yeah. come on. Come for, on. For, for him to say that, you know, just don't trust God with measure. Uh -huh. But trust God with all thy heart. This means that no matter what you face, this is what he's telling his son, that no matter what you will come against in life, God is going to be reliable. Uh, what woman or man that you can point out to me right now to for the purpose of trying to convince me that I can trust them with all of my heart? I don't think there's one. No. I, I don't think there's a man on earth. Come on. I don't think that there's a woman on earth who you can point to and convince me that me, Jeremy Michael Johnson, that I can trust in that individual uh -huh. with everything that is within me. Uh. It is, uh, 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 it's nothing wrong with trusting a man, but it is only, a man is only to be trusted with a measure of trust. Yeah. Because if, 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 if this person ever violates my trust, uh, they can damage me to the point to where I'll never be able to trust again if I trust in them with all of my heart. Right. Right. Uh, no matter how much you love a person, you can't afford to love them with the entire heart. Or you can't afford to trust them, rather, with the entire heart. 
And the reason being is because as human beings on our best day, we all have the ability to fall short on promises yeah. that we just simply can't always make good of. Mm -hmm. uh, there are times to where we can tell people who we love, if you ever need me, all you've got to do is just what? Call just call me. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, even though this statement might be genuine and it might be sincere, but I will be doing myself a great disservice if I believe that I can trust in that promise with all my heart. Right. Uh, because the only way that a man could be absolutely trustworthy or that promise could be trustworthy is that this person would have to have an unlimited ability to support me in all things. Mm -hmm. Even Paul told the church of Corinth, he says that I want you to follow me as I follow Christ. Yes. For even he understood that Christ alone is trustworthy. Right. Even he understood that there are some things about me that God is still working on. And if I'm operating outside of Christ, that individual that you see operating outside of Christ is not trustworthy. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't care how many times that you have seen God use me. I don't care how many times that I laid hands on the sick and I got results, but you follow me as I follow Christ. But right. if you see me functioning and operating outside of the anointing, if I speak a word and if God is not influencing the word that I'm speaking, I'm telling you out of my own mouth that you don't have to Come trust on. in that word with your all. That's right. If that word is not God led, if that word is not God influenced, you trust God, but you don't have to trust me with your everything. Right. Follow me as I follow Christ. Uh, I don't know anybody in here who has the testimony that you have trusted God all of your life. That just from the beginning of your walk with God, just from the beginning of your relationship with God, that you just trusted God from the beginning. Um, and, and perhaps maybe there's somebody in here that you can just say that from the very first day that I was introduced to Jesus, I trusted him. But for some of us, God had to win our trust in yes. God had to show and prove to us that he is trustworthy. Yeah. God understands that because of the nature gap that is between us and him, that he has to both build and win our trust. Mm -hmm. Uh, for God is invisible. Mm -hmm. And because God is invisible, we cannot physically see God with our own two eyes. And, and, a, and under normal circumstances, we just can't audibly hear God all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, um, we can't reach out and just touch and physically grab God. He's not a tangible human being. Mm -hmm. Come on. Uh, so over time, he shows up on what he said that he would do for us according to his, what is written in his word. Yes. And then he uh, 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 makes that connection with us. Yes. And so what, what, what he does is, is that out of all of the things that we can read in the word of God and out of all of the things that are preached out of God's word. God tells us all of these things. He shows us all of these things that he has done for the saints of old. And he makes promise that yeah. he would show up for us the same exact way. Yeah. And then what he does is, is that he begins at that point to make that connection with us through his word. Someone once said that building trust is a process. Trust results from consistent and predictable interactions over time. Uh, uh, trust results from something that is consistent. A person who consistently shows up on your behalf, this person over time becomes predictable. Right. Uh, this is why when people show you who they are, 
what do they say? You ought to believe them, right? Yeah. You should believe them. When, when, when people show you who they are constantly over and over again, you should believe them. Jesus said that you shall know a tree by the fruit that it bears. Mm -hmm. um, when, when a person is consistently producing a certain type of fruit that is testifying as to who they are, then you should believe them. You shouldn't allow a person to keep snaking you over and over and over again. You don't allow a person to keep on growling at you over and over again and you believe that they are a sheep. No. All right. When a person shows you the fruit that they are producing, you believe the fruit. Amen? Amen. Jesus or John, rather, being inspired by the Holy Ghost, he said, little children, love not in tongue and in word, but in deed and in truth. Because the thing is, is that every once in a while, you got to put your money where your mouth is. Uh, John had said that don't just love based on the things that are coming out of your mouth, but love with some action. Right. Let there be the, uh, uh, the fruit of love flowing and coming from your life. And when I see the fruit of love coming from your life, then I can trust that more than I can trust what's coming from your mouth. It's very easy to say that I love you, yeah. Yeah. but I can trust the actions or the right. fruit of love, rather. Yes. Yes. But trusting those who have lived over time and those who have gained a little experience throughout life, it's a little difficult to trust a word of love versus yes. the fruit of love. Yeah. And so God, through his wisdom, he allows for us because... If trust is something that has to be earned, mm -hmm. if trust is something that has to be built over time mm -hmm. through consistent behavior, which becomes predictable behavior, mm -hmm. then what God does is through his wisdom, he allows for us to both have natural and spiritual needs. And then in his word, he makes us a promise to meet the needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. All right. And from that point, he begins to consistently meet each need until it gets to the point that over time, God becomes predictable in our time of need. Uh, uh, what does that look like? This looks like that once you enter into a new test or a new situation, you can say that because God has been there for me so many times, I can now predict that God is going to show up even though I can't predict when and how he's going to show yeah, up. Right. But because he has shown up consistently time after time after time, I can predict even though I don't know when. And even though I don't know how, Come on. but because of his consistency, I can predict that he's not going to leave me hanging. All right. yes. Because of his track record, I know that he is coming. Because he has produced the fruit of faithfulness over and over again, and so therefore I can trust him. Right. Uh, uh, once God has won our trust, Hallelujah. Has God won your trust? Are we still praising him? We ain't got tired of praising him, have we? The music was just going and we was just going up and we were shouting. We didn't shout ourselves so tired to where we're lullabied right now, right? We, 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 we can still praise him for the word, right? We're talking about trusting God. Uh, 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 once God has won our trust, uh, uh, we don't have to worry about him breaking trust. Right. Has someone ever broke your trust before? Mm -hmm. Do you know what it means? Do you know how it feels to have trust broken? Yes, we do. Uh, 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 has a uh, uh, trust that's been broken within you, has it ever robbed you of your appetite? Has trust, has, has broken trust ever made you say, I can't believe this? Mm -hmm. Has broken trust ever made you break sleep and think about how your trust was broken. Yeah. But when God wins your trust, Ooh, has he won your trust? Oh, my God. Can you testify that 
He's won my trust. Yes, Lord. Uh, if you're still going through the process of learning how to trust God, it's all right. It's all right. Because of even Abraham, yes. who is called the father of faith, he didn't start out just completely and absolutely trusting God, but God, through his faithfulness over time, yes. consistently showing up over and over again, he had to win the old man's trust. Yes. Right. Yeah. So if, 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 if your trust is still getting to a place of maturity to where you're saying that I'm on my way, but I'm not there yet, you are right. You are right. Mm -hmm. But for those who you can, you, 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 you can say that he's won my trust. Yeah. He's shown up Glory. enough in my life to where, you know, I, I know that when I'm in a situation, yeah. Sister oh, Tracy, Lord. I know he's coming. <laughs> he's right. predictable by yes, now. Lord. Yes, Lord. And so once he wins our trust, mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about him breaking trust, and there are a few reasons for this. One reason is because God is unchangeable, and he cannot lie. That's right. Come on. That whatever God says that he's going to do, he has to make good on. That's right. Because it is in his nature that he is the truth. Yeah. And he cannot lie. The Bible says that uh, for God is not a man that he shall lie. Come on. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. God, he just can't do it. Hey, come on. If he said it, it has to come to pass. Yeah. If he said it, he's bound to it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one thing. If you receive the promise from God. You can lay down at night and rest assured that God is going to make good on what he said. You can lay your head on the rock. You can lay your head on the pillow. But however you got to go to sleep, if it's in a hard place or in a soft place, you can rest assured that when you get up, he's still a promise to you. Secondly, if he breaks trust, then he is uh, uh, he can no longer boast in the fact that he is God, the promise keeper. Right. He can no longer boast in the fact that he is God, the one who is able to bring it to pass. Right. He can no longer boast in the fact that he's able to call things that are not as though they were. He can no longer boast in the fact that he can speak those things from the uh, from the end to uh, from the beginning until the end. Yeah. He has to be able to make his boast yeah. in the fact that he and he alone is God. Yeah. Yes. Lord. Yes. And thirdly, is, is that he wants all of us who has fled to him. Have you fled to Jesus? Yes. Yes. Have you had to run from some situations yes. into the arms yes. of Jesus? Yes. Have you had to run from yes. some trouble? Yes. Have you had to run from some lies? My, my, Have you had to run from sin? Have you ever had to run from Satan? Have you ever had to run from your past? Y'all act like I'm not free. You it. Have you ever, have you ever had to run from some stuff into the arms of Jesus? Come on. The song says that I'm running for my life. Come on. You know, you you just don't make a song up like that Come just on, for the sake of making it up. But yeah. you make a so you 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 write that song based on some experience. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the songwriter went on to say, if anybody asks you what's the matter with me, I'm not running just for the sake of running, yeah. but I got the enemy on my heels. Come on. And every once in a while, I can't always afford to engage in battle, right. but there are some things that he actually tells me yeah. to flee from. Flee, flee, flee from it. Come on. And so thirdly, he doesn't break promise. It's because all of us who have fled to him for a refuge, yes, Lord. to have great confidence in him, uh, uh, he doesn't want that confidence to be broken. He doesn't want you to lose confidence uh -huh. in him. Yes, Lord. Because the more confidence that we have in him, the more that we spread his fame abroad. Yes, Lord. Uh, 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 and when we go to work and when somebody is telling us about all of their trouble, because I got so much confidence in Jesus, yeah. I'm able to look at them in the eye and say that, you know what, trust in Jesus. My God. 
We're talking about trusting yes. in the Lord on tonight. Mm -hmm. When our family comes to us and they begin to tell us about that, how they're in, a, uh, in between a rock and a hard place, uh -huh. yeah. you can look at them and say, trust in Jesus. Come on. Uh, when, when folks come to you and they begin to vent to you about how they feel like that, they're not going to make it because of, you know, they're going through all type of mental turmoil because of you know what it means to be mentally delivered because of you fled to Jesus. You fled into uh -huh. his arms. You made your haste unto his my throne. God, I wish I God, had a church in here. Uh, you made your haste unto his throne yes. because you know what it means to run to Jesus and say, Jesus, yes. I need you to touch my mind. Yes. You can tell them. You can trust Jesus with yes. your mouth. Oh when somebody comes Come to you and tells you, that my child is acting up in a way that I almost feel like the boy or the girl got a devil. My you can Lord. tell them that, look, I know what you're going through because of mine had ten devils. Come on. And I'm telling you that I had to pray all Come the time. Come on, Come on. I had to fast all the time for this joker. It wasn't just me fasting. It wasn't just the, uh, uh, it wasn't just me praying, but it was a whole group of us. Yeah, you should have yeah, seen yeah, it. Yeah, I yeah. called the pastor. I called sister so-and-so. I called brother so-and-so. Oh. And I told them that I need somebody to yoke up with me because yeah, yeah. I feel like the enemy is just one move away from my killing God, my child. My God, my God. And God, by and by, God, showed up God. to me as he said that he would in his word. Yeah. As Brother Aaron said, this poor man cried yeah. and the Lord heard him yeah. and delivered him out of all of his fear. Yeah. I'm no longer a man. Yeah. I'm no longer a woman that is scared because yeah. he showed up to me so many times that I know that I can trust Jesus. So I'm telling you, you can trust Jesus with When they ask you, how do you know that he is trustworthy? You will be able to respond like David said and say, ask for God. His way is perfect. And the word of the Lord is tried. How many know that the word of the Lord is tried? Have you tried him? Have you tried his word? Have you tried his word? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 Sister Morris, when you were sick and you couldn't get well, did you try Jesus? Oh, and what was the result of trying Jesus? Come Can on. you stand up, Sister Tracy, and tell hey. the world that Jesus is a healer? Hey. His word has Come been tried. Hey. Can you tell the world that God, Jesus God. delivers from alcohol? How do you know? Because I've tried his word. Can you tell the world that there is life after divorce? Word, yeah. His word, his word, 
His word has been tried. His word has been tried by fire. His word has been tried by cancer. His word has been tried by jail. His word has been tried by hell. But yet, there's no fall in him. But yet, he's a keeper of his word. He said that he would save me. He said that he would give me the Holy Ghost. And I had to believe it. Because it, it was in his word. And at this time, what he was doing was, he had gave me a word. And now, he created an opportunity for him to win my trust. And as I tell you, as I waited, as I prayed, as I praise him, as I celebrate him, on. as I lift him up, yes. and I waited on him, on. and saw other people, mm -hmm. the, uh, where the Spirit of God was falling on yeah. them, mm -hmm. I'm saying, Lord, whatever you do, don't you forget about me. Right. And one day he yeah. came by, My and God. he said yeah. that I didn't forget about you, and heaven opened up, My and he God. outpoured just like he said that he would, yes, his Holy Spirit yes, yes, upon me. Yes. And this right here now, I'm in a situation to where hmm, I can trust Jesus. Yes, Come on, Lord. Lord. I can trust Jesus because of, I got his spirit. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Come on. I'm trying his word. You his word said free. that he would give me yes. the Holy Ghost. Yes. And I tried his word. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so, so after trying his word, he made good on what he said. Yeah. 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 His word said that I can lay hands on the sick yeah. and the sick shall recover. And we know that this is based on his divine will, but I tried his word. That's right. I'll never forget it. That one day my, I went to visit my mother. Y'all heard me testify yeah. this uh, before, and I, I, I'll always tell it. Yeah. I went to visit my mother, and my mom had just came from the hospital. And I asked her, I said, Mom, where are you just coming from? She said, I just left the hospital. She said, Derek won't wake up. And, I, I, and, and during this time, I Come used on. to keep a bottle of oil on me. Mm -hmm. Just got saved, and I'm on fire. Yeah. And I, and I must have not actually been connecting with what I was saying. Because I, I told her, I said, well, take me out to the hospital so that I can lay hands on him and get him up. Yeah. Because he had went all day without waking up. They would shake him. No matter what they was doing, the boy would not wake up. Mm. And so when we got out there, uh, 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 he's, still in the, he's still in there and they're getting ready to admit him. And so the doctor comes in and the doctor says, well, when we ran some tests, I'm going to go out and I'll be back. We're going to admit him. We're going to get him a room. And so I anoint him and I lay hands on him. Mm -hmm. And nothing happens. Come on. And so after a few minutes go by, I, I, I lay hands on him again. Mm -hmm. Doctor comes back in the My room. God. I think he's probably about four years old at the time. Mm -hmm. Doctor comes back in, him, back in the room. Him and my daughter, they're jumping on the bed eating Cheetos. Yeah. The doctor asks what happened. Mm. My mom and my sister points to me and say he prayed for me. Yeah. The doctor said it doesn't look like he needs to stay here tonight yeah. and let the little boy go Come home. On. I tried his word. His word. For the word tells us that he will furnish and yes. prepare a table for us in the wilderness. Yes. I know what it means for me and my wife not to have a job. Yeah. But yet at the same time, I also know what it means with both of us being unemployed and God not missing a beat. Come on, he won my trust. Come on, yeah, he, right. Come he on. won my trust. Come on, Neither one of us having a job and going out to the mailbox. Yes, a check in the mail. Come on. Yes. Uh, uh, unexpected yeah. checks. Come yeah. on. Checks coming from uh, car insurance companies that was retro money back that we didn't even know that we was going to get back. Yeah. Uh, 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 God showing up in ways to where folks was putting groceries Come on. on our doorstep. Come on. I remember we drove through the neighborhood and counted the houses that had foreclosed. Yeah. It was 20 some houses My that God. was foreclosed. And we tried to call and uh, 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 get some help from the mortgage company, and the mortgage company said, because you're not three months behind, we can't do anything for you. Come on. And so we were telling them that we don't want to get behind, right. and that's right. why we're calling in advance. But we didn't know that 
That wasn't the help that God intended for us to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The help that God intended for us to have was for him to show us my God, my God. that he, yes. and he alone is able. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it down. God to furnish a table for me yeah. in the wilderness. Yeah. His word has been tried. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. God. Come on. And so you have people that will come to you and say that how do you know all of this about Jesus? How can you tell me that I ought to trust in him? And after you gain this experience with yeah. him, yeah. you will be able to tell him that I tried them for myself. Yes, yes. Come on, right? Now I found yes. out. Yes. Not because the mama told me. Yeah. Not because of the deacon told me. Right. Yes. Not because of the pastor told me. Come on. But based on my own experience. Yes. yes. Based on me crying Come on. through the midnight hour. Yes. Wiping yes. snot from my nose. Come on. Bags Come on. under my eyes yes. from crying so Come much. Yep. Not knowing how it's going to turn out. And yet him telling me over and over again, don't worry, I got you, I got you, don't worry. But at the time, I didn't know him like that. But he was winning my trust. And after he won my trust, I found out. And this is why I can tell you that there is no failure in him. If whatever he told you that he said that he would do, He's going to make good on it. Yeah, right. Because one thing yes, that he God. don't want to do yes. is lose your confidence. Yes, God. Right. Not because of your confidence make him who he is. Nah. But your confidence, it matters that much to him. Yes, that he wants to be dad to God. you. Come on. Yes, when, when you look at, uh, uh, have you ever had to look your parent in the eye? And you just didn't see mama or you just didn't see daddy, but you saw daddy yes. or you saw mama. You right. saw the one that was making it happen. Come on, come on. He wants you to be able to look into the eyes of his glory and see daddy. He wants you to be able to look and see the one that's making it happen. You can trust in Jesus. <laughs> Trust yes. in the Lord. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Let us put our hands together. For yes. 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 We're going to pray. Mm. Oh, there's Glory. anyone in here who is struggling with their trust. My God, my God. I don't feel bad. It's all right. It happens sometimes. Yes, yes. But. Just know that God is determined to get you there. He's determined yes, yes. to win your trust. Yes, yes, Amen. Yes. Amen. And I guarantee once he wins your trust, he'll never lose it. Come on. And if he loses it, it won't be his fault. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. If you, hallelujah, are struggling in any area of your life to where you're just Thank trying Jesus. to believe God in a certain area. Right. Lord, I'm... You know, uh, it was one person said, Lord, I believe, but help help thou my unbelief. Yes. And we'll pray for you. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank if there's you, none, Jesus. let us all stand. We'll pray a general Glory prayer. Glory to God. Amen. And we'll dismiss. Yes, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord yes, God, we God. thank you for your word. Thank you, we appreciate you, O oh Lord God. Oh, Hallelujah God. for who you are, Lord. Yes, thank you, and for everything that you have done, thank Lord God. You are so God. trustworthy, O oh yes, God. We thank you, O oh Lord God. Hallelujah. That with kindness, O oh Lord God. With mercy, O oh Lord God. With Lord grace. God. Yes. With patience, Lord. That over time you have won our trust, O oh Lord you, God. Jesus. You have shown us, Lord, that we can trust you, O oh Lord God, with everything. Yes, yes, we can Lord. trust you, O oh Lord God, with our hearts. We can trust you, you with God. our minds. We can trust you with our souls. Yes, we can trust you with our children. You, we can God. trust you with all of our valuables, yes. O oh Lord God. And we say thank you, O oh Lord. Yes. Lord God, even as we leave this place, Lord God. We pray, Father, that we don't leave your presence, Lord, yes, Lord. but that you would keep us, O oh God, yes, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord God, and give us the necessary necessary strength that we need to continue to our journey with you, O oh God. In Jesus' name, amen.